I have the pleasure of announcing this wonderful band. I had the pleasure of jamming with them right before we went on stage. Um, these guys are amazing. They all have amazing energy. And I cannot wait for you guys to embrace their experience. This is Tilt, guys. Give it up. Hey. Give it up for Tilt. Let's hear it. There we go. OK. Chris, that, was, that was a good fucking intro. Dude. That was awesome. Wow, you made it sound great. <laughs> This is really good, but he has the sickest fit on too. Yeah, no, I mean, you can't see it, but if you could see it, Chris is wearing something that's unbelievable. It's out of this world. Lanyard? It's nuts. Yeah, with a lanyard. On the carabiner. Out of this world. On this world. Okay, uh, we'll start, I guess. Um, this song is about uh, running someone over with your car. Woo! <laughs> This one is actually out compared to the other songs. It's true. It's called Freezer Room. Woo! I'm playing with real sticks. Let's go. <laughs> you always used to freeze the things I love the most. I never understood it was a sentiment lost. I wonder if your father did the same to you.
welcome back. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> that was going on. That, that was that was something. That was that was, that was cool. That was kind of cool. <laughs> no, that was dope. Give it up. Give it up for them. Oh my god. You know uh, they don't they don't usually play acoustic sets. You know what I'm mean? talking about? They they're they're usually fucking crazy on the stage. So There's usually a lot of blood. And oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, Violence. Yeah, we're a gore man. <laughs> Strictly a gore man. Yeah. Strictly. Um, well, I just, you know, I love um, how genre, genre warping your sound is. Um, you know, listen to your guys' uh, record stuff was a uh, delight because each project, each EP, each single was something completely wildly different from the other. And, um, you know, some might say genre hopping that much. Not the best idea, but you guys do it in such a beautiful, and you can feel the brotherhood within each track just shine, you know. Um, and it's sweet, because we are brothers. <laughs> hey, there it is. It's true. Yeah. Um, but Different mom, though, same dad. Checking out your website, though, I saw that you guys have a tab that uh, listed your 150 influences. And I was wondering, like, damn, like, like 150, and then there's another tab that says your 15 greatest influences. Would you still say those 15 greatest influences still hold up today, knowing that your sound has changed so much? I'd probably have DJ Khaled. <laughs> and the Chainsmokers. And the Chainsmokers. <laughs> um, I, I think, well, the, the website update is a bit more recent than, uh, mm. and, and I think that taste of music has gone a lot longer. You know, that's something we've been listening to our whole lives, so. No, I, I don't think so. I think that's kind of what makes the genre wide. change. Yeah. Far and wide? Far and wide. Far and wide. <laughs> Basically, I think that website update has is newer than any of the music we've <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so honestly, that's a better indication of what we're making than Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's it's beautifully curated, and like I was I was really impressed by how uh, the, the art and the, how you guys built it up. Now, what makes those 15 bands, and I have them listed, you know, the, among them Don't are say it. Casey the Elephant, yeah. Bad Brains, yeah. uh, Beatles, yeah. Idols, Indigo oh, D'Souza, which I was a surprise. That is dope. Yeah, you, you know, great. Indigo yeah. D'Souza is dope. Yeah. Now, what puts all of these 15 artists up above the rest? Does it have a like, nostalgia factor, or is they it? They were the first ones we wrote down. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I, I guess I guess it's like when you listen back, it's probably the amount of influence, I think. Creativity. Yeah, creativity. Mm -hmm. Just what they kind of stand for. They're all making pretty pretty accessible stuff, but all very uniquely them. Yeah. I think that that's a pretty good... Yeah, they stand asset. alone. Mm. Yeah, no, I, I noticed that uh, a lot of things that connected all of these bands were actually their, how they play live. You know, the, the, you know their, their energy live was all similar in the fact that they um, explode live. Like even the Beatles, them live is completely different than their studio stuff, you know? Sure. They're a lot of impact all at once. Um, you know, Casey the Elephant, the Elephant is up there, and especially how you guys like play live. And I was like, damn, like, they really look like Casey the Elephant. And lo and behold, it's one of your greatest influences. So seeing, you know, the widespread of taste and genre and how it, you allow it to influence and like open your mind is really beautiful and I think a testament to how good you guys are. Tilt better, better than I can say. <laughs> <laughs> I, good. I think it was that that was very beautiful. That yes. Was, yeah. was Give it up for Tilt, guys. Nice. Give it up for Tilt. Woo! Woo! Uh, to continue with our night of songs we don't have released, uh, the song is called Nina. This one is about. Uh, it's a good story. It's about a woman who who works at a large company, probably shipping. Things from the internet, I guess. Some crates of wrenches. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh, she gets upset, and I guess we'll see what happens.
next one's called Green Machine. Green Machine. <laughs> it's about making money. Yeah. Mad money. Uh, more specifically, it's about. More specifically, cash, I think. The money Fucking making machine. Prisons. It's about prison reform. <laughs> You guys probably didn't know this, but that's a news to everybody. Do it! Just like I'm <laughs> swimming in it. I'm swimming in it. Um, you know, I love the show and all the people that it brings in and the community that builds. Um, you know, coming out of pandemic, I feel like um, I it opened my eyes to how much how important community is. Um, and I just want to thank you guys for showing up for um, everyone here. You know, these guys work so hard. Gino and his hard. band work so hard to put all this music together. So thank you guys so much for showing your support because it means a million times more than you think to these amazing people. So thank you so much. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I, I, I can't wait to watch you guys play a live group, like, live full power set just because of that one video that I saw of Hayden when your freaking bass broke and then <laughs> <laughs> you had to play it all one in hand and yeah, stuff. Yeah. What was that experience like? Like, what, what was going through your mind when that happened? Well, I, I cut I cut his bass before, so it's a good thing that it happened on stage. It's called yeah, sabotage. Yeah. Um, all the pulling tricks. Yeah. I don't even remember. I just, uh, it stopped making noise halfway through the set. <laughs> and uh, I, I had to hold the jack in with one hand. Uh, which meant I could only play one-handed. Thankfully, that is the stupidest simple song that we have, so I could just kind of tap it. Yeah. 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 Thank you, man. At uh, Arlene's in New York. And uh, so I could kind of tap it and play one-handed, but it definitely took a minute to kind of realize what was going on. 
But uh, yeah, shoot breaks a lot. <laughs> like, that is probably one of our biggest issues is snapping strings or stuff just stopping working. Um, yeah, yeah, your plan yeah, just breaks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And you know, uh, I was talking to uh, I was talking to Hayden for a little bit uh, right before you guys went on, and I learned that you know, um, Mike, um, amazing songwriter that you are, you write songs every day. That's and, true. Yeah, that's that's beautiful. You know, like you're like a modern George Clinton. You know, coming in. We wrote some songs to that. <laughs> yeah, we did. We did. Yo, Funk Machine is the best. All right. The Funk Machine. <laughs> Funk Machine. Hey. Yeah, Funk Machine. <laughs> um, but you know, as uh, as a fellow musician, I like. A, one respect of the amount of work that you put in, but I just get, in a band setting, I'm just like thinking about like, damn, like how crazy must it be for back to just come in and be like, hey, wrote five songs today, let's learn a yeah. bunch of five new songs, and the next day, hey, five more songs and stuff. Like, what's that process like for the rest of the band, and how do you guys tackle um, that? All? Like, I mean, it's an amazing problem to have, but like then again, it's like a lot. Also, like. Very, like it's a it's a lot of material to work on every day. Yeah, absolutely. But I, I, I mean, um, so all of the songs when we upload them, um, they're they're credited to everybody, all four of us, equally, and that's because uh, I believe that we all do equal work to get the song out, right? So if I played all the parts, it wouldn't sound nearly the same as what it sounds like now, right? So what you're hearing is is the amalgamation of everybody. It's not just you know me coming up with the thing. But uh, but also, me and Luca write a lot of stuff together too. You know, me and Hayden will come up with something, me and Luke will come up with something. Or, or we're just like dicking around, you know, something happens. Like the fun machine, you know? <laughs> I wish I had one of those, dude, that thing's sweet. Uh, I'm, 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 well, I'm, I'm glad I work here. There's one in Texas, <laughs> I might drive down and grab one. Grab one! <laughs> yeah, we take 10 songs a day the fun machine. Yeah, 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 then we write 10 songs a day. Yeah. But, but the funny part is we write so many songs, but then we don't release any of them. Yeah, it's a cosmic joke. <laughs> well, well, I, know. I don't know. Mike writes a lot of stuff, but in, even even before we we kind of get to the cutting floor, Mike has decided that he hates a lot of them. So he, he yeah, they can't all be too. winners, man. You know, yeah. but a lot of them are stinkers. P U. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, mean I, I was watching a, an interview the other day uh, of a talented creator, and he said, you know, um, a lot of people think that you write 10 songs and then you just put out the 10 songs for an album. I'm like, no, no, no. Like, what actually happens and what, you, what people should strive to is you write 100 songs and then you listen to all of them and be like, okay, 90% of them are trash. And then from that 10%, be like, okay, what is actually good from them? You know, and in that way, you one, hone the craft of songwriting, and two, like, you really hone in on what is a hit and what is not a hit. You know, what do you feel in your soul and what, what only, like, trembles your spine a little bit, but what you're trying to look for is something that, like, speaks to you and speaks to the audience at its biggest length. Yeah, it's also fun, too. Yeah. <laughs> God, we have fun doing it. I wouldn't do anything else. How do you heart? Well, Tilt, everyone, they're playing amazing tonight. Give it up for Tilt, guys. Woo! We have three more. Can't wait for days after dark. Days after dark, dark baby. Uh, this one is called Summer Breeze. It's been days. Hold on, I'm tying my shoe. Yeah, that's all right. Well, he ties his shoe. Today. I'll tell a story about this song. Just kidding, I'm ready. Nah, I lied. <laughs> all right, ready? <laughs>
<laughs> you should play. You should play in a band. Uh, should I? Like you play. Yeah, like it's oh, I, I play the fun machine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Primarily, no. <laughs> play guitar, piano, keys, nice. bass. Hey, Chris. My drums like, too loud. Nah. It's Are you sure? Yeah. All right. It's me right here. Um, I'm trying my best. No, you're doing great. You're doing great, brother. I love you, Chris. I love you, Chris. Bro, I, love I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Fuck out of here. We all love you, too. I have made it. <laughs> sweetheart. Aww. True sweetheart. Y'all deal. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, like, uh, I love you guys so much. For real. Um, you guys are playing your guys' heart out. And, um, you know, talking to every single one of you guys have really something special in, in you as musicians and as people. So I just want to let you guys know that. Beautiful, beautiful shit. Um, and on the beautiful note, um, I had, you know, I love when artists break down the imaginative space that their music um, inhabits. And lo and behold, like on your YouTube, on all of your, each and every single one of your songs. Fuck you found on YouTube. Fuck yeah, I found everything, bro. Pulling up TikToks. Hell yeah, bro. I'm not rolling this shit. Did you say deep dive? <laughs> no, but for real, like every single one of the songs um, had an incredible description on the description. Um, uh, like drop down menu, mm -hmm. and it and it wasn't just like a one line. It was like a paragraph, you know, on like where the song originated from emotionally and the you know imaginative realm that it inhabited. Um, and I guess imagine as you guys play, and that really struck a chord with me because um, you know there, there's some artists that just like love to be vague, you know. But for me, I really love just discovering what the artist um not intent was but like how they connect with the song you know like intent is a completely other thing like, like you could write a song about like oh i just want this is a song about like regressive love like no 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 like when you guys like there's this one uh description where it was like it was like you guys imagine yourself at like a lake or something like that you know basking in the sun or whatever the heck and i just love that and you know knowing that you guys had recorded in a lake uh before what do you get? What would, what would be the wildest? Huh? Was that for questions you're talking about? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you remember that? <laughs> yeah, the lake, we recorded it up at like a lake. Yeah, house. that's like, true. And I remember the day that we were doing it, it was just like kind of dark and cloudy and right on that lake. So it's yeah. definitely where it came from. No, and, it, and that onto my question, you know, it's like after recording it uh, by a lake, you know, and seeing how that um, creatively, you know, inspires you guys, um, what would be the wildest? most like sought out for like space for you guys to volcano <laughs> that'd be awesome fucking volcano oh the pyramids my of giza. god <laughs> the pyramids of giza <laughs> yo like inside it no yeah. on top oh. <laughs> did you guys know that the in the pyramids have an electrical system and they actually shoot they're back Get in the, the day yeah. they shot yeah. up lights and actually like yeah. showed up constellations in the fucking sky Egyptians, bro. They don't know that shit. Yeah, yeah. Aliens, man. Aliens. You think it's aliens? Wild volcano, though. Come on, tell me. Do you think it's aliens? No. No. You almost think that? Don't think we're just that good. Yeah. Back in the day, they used to be. Yeah. What happened? It's probably at the factory lounge. The pyramid factory. Yeah. Yeah. But why wild volcano, though? Why was the the go-to? It's hot. Powerful. Dude, why not? Lord? Yeah, why not? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> like straight, like in the caldera, like, up, in the, up in the low lava and shit. It's a good yeah. Crack it, Put me in a little suit. Little we'll caldera. Throw me in there. Imagine like, the kind of music we would make. Ah! 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 Fuck you, the James Brown. Oh! Oh! Ah! Ah! Well, it has been my pleasure to interview you guys. Um, they're on to their last two songs, but thank you guys so much for coming out. Oh, this yeah. is Tilt! Tilt! Thank you, everybody. I want to see you. Are you done? You done? So it's just, just you? Oh, okay. Thank you, Chris. I'll come back for a closing remark. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Take it away, guys. I think that's the best interview this band's ever had. Honestly. <laughs> no, you Great question, Chris. Don't look at our YouTube. God, please. <laughs> 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 Okay, uh, this song, it's in drop D. Not a knock, it's really too now. Drop C. Kind of crazy.
All right. We love it. This song is a party song. Um, it's Ain't about. <laughs> this, uh, 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 we're we're from the New Haven area, New Haven. And, uh, yeah, shout out New Haven. Uh, I went to school there, and while I was going to school there, there were uh, I think it was like one day, uh, like ninety overdoses on the green. It's fucked up. Uh, so the song's about that. But it's a dance song. But it's awesome. But it's like, yeah. But it's like fun. <laughs> Bad timing for an outside show, you know. Make sure your pipes don't freeze. Make sure your pipes don't freeze, man. My pipes are freezing, bro. Thanks, Galliana. Yeah, thanks, Galliana. Shout out. Thank you. Makes the best tries ever. Thanks for the tries. Also, shout out Chino, wherever. Chino. Chino. Awesome. Alright, cover. Enjoy. <laughs> 
That last song is by Till. That last song is by us. We wrote that on a napkin backstage before we just came on. <laughs> that shit had me tearing up a little bit, bro. Take it away, Chris. Oh my gosh. No, you gotta take it away. Till, everyone, give it one more time. Oh my god. Other than your social and any upcoming shows, do you guys have any news? I guess it releases. I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Is it my father? We'll find out. There's a lot of suitors. How? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming out. This has been the Underground Lounge series. We have an uh, we have our next show next Friday. It's gonna be Smooch and Rain in the Clouds, right? Mm. You Sounds know. Cool. Um, if you want to hear more dope bands up in the space, you know, with all this amazing crowd, please invite your friends, let our people know on Instagram and stuff like that. If you want to just catch our radio station, you can find us on WSBC Radio. Um, just search up on Google or go to TuneIn, search that up. We're on there on Live 652. Um, feel free to stick around. We're going to play some music, hang around the bar, get a drink at the bar, donate to these people, um, or ask any of the staff for a tour around the building. We're giving away tours. Um, and yeah, um, anyone's welcome to stay and stick around and just have fun and have a good time. So, thank you so much for coming out. Dylan and Gina are the ones. They're amazing. Yeah, if you like us, come to more shows. This is. I'm not saying you're not crazy.